The actions of two Texas City police officers on camera are now the focus of a lawsuit filed against them and the city. The men are arresting are accused of uh, using excessive force and leaving him badly injured. Today we're hearing from that man's father, his attorney, and also a witness. Channel 2's Roseanne Aragon is live with more on this lawsuit. Roseanne. That man's family met with lawyers here in Houston to share his story. They say he was unfairly beaten. It happened in my driveway. Ed Miller is thinking about his son, Brian Miller, a man now suing for an incident with Texas City Police, which he says happened on October 8th last year. Brian had given up after a short chase. Uh, he got on the ground, laid on the ground, as the video shows, when one of the officers came up with his gun and smacks him on the head. Using this video, Brian Miller and his attorney filed a federal civil rights lawsuit against the city of Texas City and two police officers. The lawsuit says Texas City Sergeant B. Masick was pursuing Miller. When Miller jumped out of the car, they say Officer R. Drix clubbed him multiple times, breaking Brian's jaw and giving him a concussion. It also alleges that Masick later tased him. It breaks your heart. They did serve you on his head down there. Brian's neighbor was there. She says there were around eight officers that night, and the beating, she says, lasted at least half an hour. I could hear him screaming and groaning every time they hit him, and every time two more policemen walked up, then he started over with the screaming. Ed Miller says afterwards, officers took Brian to the ER and drove him back to his home. Records show weeks later, he was arrested on October 31st by the Galveston County Sheriff's Office for evading arrest on October 8th. His father says the way Brian was treated was unnecessary. He had a warrant issued for his parole violation. And that's what his original stop was for. Brian's record shows a history of drug possession and driving while intoxicated. But his father says no one deserves this. He did not resist. Now, the police department released this statement. The police department says, in this situation, Officer Richard Drick's conduct was reviewed and he was subject to discipline, which was under appeal. The Texas City Police Department also referred this incident to the Galveston County District Attorney's Office of Public Integrity, which declined charges after reviewing all of the facts and circumstances. We reached out to both of the officers, and Officer Drix had actually reached out to me, saying that he is speaking with his lawyer, and he has his side of this story, which he will keep us up updated once he's able to talk with us. Reporting live in Southeast Houston, Roseanne Aragon, KPRC, Channel 2 News.